Falls here on Joy. Now, president of the World Outreach, Lawrence Tetep, has called out his fellow clergymen and women over their silence on the anti-LGBTQ bill, which was passed in February this year. Although the bill has since landed in the Supreme Court after two private individuals filed separate challenges to it, seeking to declare it illegal and prevent the president from signing it, Dr. Tete believes President Kufuado should not have hesitated to assent the bill when Parliament passed it. He is vowing to march to the seat of government if the president fails to sign the bill to the Supreme Court rule in favor of that. I think it's about time we make politicians know we voted them into power. The cowardice that Christian leaders have been made to and religious leaders have been made to is a shame. And I'm embarrassed with some of our clergymen. As much as we are interested in our titles, in the big titles, and who we are and how long we served, I'm here to hear certain people speak against this manners. And for me, that is a shame. So it starts from my home too. It starts from the clergymen. It starts from the religious clerics. It starts from the home of the chief man. It starts from the chairman of Christian council. It starts from the apostolic leaders. It starts from apostolic fathers. It also starts from the Catholic, Methodist, Presbyterian, and Anglican. But also beyond that, it starts from the charismatic leaders. We've been too quiet. And as much as we are grumbling, everybody wants to impress certain people. And that is the nonsense for me that must stop.